I just want some money. I just want some money. I just want some money. You know I'm coming. I just want some money. I just want some money. Head first behind the bridge. You know I'm coming. What up, though? It's your boy Foreman. Before we get into this uh, gameplay for you guys against TD. I want you guys to do me a favor. Go to my guy's uh, Bishop's YouTube page. This is it right here. And drop a sub for me, for your boy, man. Uh, this is the guy who taught me how to make thumbnails, showed me how to market my gameplay and get it out there. He actually created a lot of thumbnails for me. Well, my thumbnails is trash. And uh, he really helped your boy out a lot on getting my uh, fan base out to a broader uh, people. Um he got into a really bad car accident about a month ago. My boy lost his leg. He's still in the hospital to this day recovering. I just talked to him. I didn't want to do a shout out or anything until I talked to him and uh, made sure he was in good spirits. He does not know that your boy is doing this shout out. So if y'all could drop a sub and drop a get well soon down in the comment section for my boy. So when he watched the video, he see the love. And when he does come home, he can hit the ball rolling. With his YouTube content, man. Real good dude. And shout, big shout out to y'all for smashing the like button in my last video. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Keep smashing the like, uh, that like, that comment, that share for your boy. And I get at y'all. What up, though? It's your boy Foreman. We back with another Madden Online Ranked Match. And uh, actually, no, we're not. This ain't even my online rank match, man. This is a special video. It is me versus TD Barrett. Um, I want to say I got, ooh, I got four or five videos on TD's channel. Um, we played twice on his stream. No, no, it's four videos on TD's channel. We played twice on his stream and, um, two videos are on my channel with me and TD. Good friend of mine, for a lot of you guys who don't know, TD's the one that got me started on YouTube. Uh, so shout out to TD. He got me and Rain, uh, Black Rain Four started on YouTube. And going into this game, your boy was up eight zip. You know what I'm saying? Your boy is a professional rotator and <laughs> clapper of cheeks. So uh, coming into this game, I low key shouldn't have played him because your boy, like I at the at the time, your boy was a little lacking on playing. A lot of y'all you know sometimes you gotta take a break from Madden. So I had just grinded out hella game plays and um kind of took a little break. Was on playing a lot of blackout, which I'm actually playing a lot of blackout right now. And he hit me up, so we got the game in. And this is the gameplay that you guys are gonna see. You know what I'm saying? Can is he gonna finally get a dub? I wanna say the week the week before he finally got a dub on rain. So he was just hunting for us. He had said we was the last two that he hadn't got yet, so he was hunting for us. And a lot of you guys keep, like, y'all comment, talking about how weak TD is. Like, it's very easy to say that people aren't good until you get into a game with them. And I can tell y'all now, the TD from the beginning of Mad 20 to the TD now are two different players. Like, when you play against all the elite top 100 guys in regs, the elite ones who are really good. Then you play against professionals and you're getting like tidbits of information and what this does and what that from uh, PS4 and Xbox. There's no way y'all can say he's not good. Like a lot of people say my offense is really easy and they would lock it up. It's very easy to say that. They would doubt up my defense. It's very easy to say that until you pick this up and then you actually in the game with me and you realize ain't nobody open. So I hope you guys enjoy that gameplay. Hey, big shout out to y'all for killing it in the last video, man. Destroying that like button. And we got a ton of questions from you guys that I'm going to answer in this video that are Madden related. Now, your boy didn't have a good day on Madden today, man. I got up. You know what I'm saying? I was streaking. Pretty usual. Your boy always streaking. Shout out Mike B from the T. He actually got me today. Ended my streak. So I'm like, you know what? Let me play another one. You know what I'm saying? Get the streak restarted. As soon as I logged into a game, it kicked me out, gave me the loss. Your boy lost 20 ranking points. I cried for 30 minutes, and I'm like, I'm not playing no Madden today, man. Like, Madden is draining for your boy. 
I'm uh I don't really grind rank matches like grind trying to get up the leaderboards no more because for the most part everybody know who I am and as far as the regs community um, everybody know I'm one of the best players on Xbox so I, I don't really feel a need to grind regs and do all that no more so yeah the boy was like I, I ain't doing it no more but I got a ton of questions from you guys so we gonna get into that and I'm gonna get the answer in these questions for y'all so. Uh, if I forget y'all name and don't say it and just read the question, don't be mad at your boy. So, Ghost Sushi wants to know, how do you know when to man people up and put people in a certain zone? And that goes back to understanding the tendencies of your opponent. Like, if I got some guy in the slot and I know he runs a deep crosser across the middle of the field, I'm probably going to man that guy up. Because what I don't want to have to do is use a 30 yards up the field with my middle linebacker, and I end up giving everything up in the middle. So I'll probably man that guy up. If he, excuse me, if he has a habit of throwing uh, out routes on third and sixes, then I'll probably put up a, I'll probably cloud flat my cornerback on that side and then man up the guy on that same side with a safety just in case he streaks him, I'm still protected. And then now I know I got a user that whole left side, left the middle area that's left abandoned because of my adjustments. So it's all based upon the tendencies that you see from your opponent. Uh, Black Hearted, how to stop people from running out routes and zones. Same thing, cloud flats. You can cloud, you can go cover two and play the sticks, or you can put your linebacker, because for, for you guys that don't know, you can't put secondary guys in cloud flats, only linebackers. Unless the zone that you come out in, the base formation, already has them in cloud flats. And there's a few of those. So what I would do is I would put my linebacker in the cloud flat. But what you got to do is you have to drag that linebacker out to the hash marks. If you drag him beyond the hash marks, he'll play the cloud flat. If you keep him on the inside near the lineman, he will not get out there to that cloud flat quick enough to play those out routes. Um, Hunter Hall said he want more longer vids. I'm going to drop more vids like this full gameplays for you guys because it seemed like you guys really enjoyed it. You know I'm saying y'all killed the like button, killed the views, and uh, your boy really appreciate that. Shout out to you, Hunter, man. You always showing your boy love. Uh, Michael Moore want to know, why don't you talk to your opponents during matches? Because I'm not much of a trash talker. Like, now, if you get me going, I go. But just hopping on the mic and being toxic to my opponents, I don't really do that. Uh, unless you're talking on the mic and you're going crazy, then I get on there just to, just because I like to hear people trash talk. Because once they get to losing, trash talk flip quick. And they still be angry. That's when the hate mail come in. That's Madden players. We all love getting hate mail. But, yeah, as far as trash talking on the mic, I don't really, I don't really do that no more. Jane Thomas, what playbooks do you use? I am in New Orleans on offense. And I think right now I'm in Philadelphia on defense, if I'm not mistaken. Philadelphia or Miami. I've been switching back and forth because I've been working on some stuff. Um, Jaden also wants to know tips on run D because you know how mad he is. I can give you three quick tips. Anything else, uh, Jay, you can go check uh, in my previous videos. I got like two or three videos on locking up the run. So one thing, bring that safety in the box. If you're going against the Chiefs, bring your safety in the box, but line that safety up on like whatever side Tyreek is on. So if he doesn't decide to streak Tyreek, then you'll have that corner and that safety to play that streak. Uh, set the edges with your linebackers, which means move them out to the hash marks. So if it is a stretch, they'll come in at a better angle and play it instead of getting sealed up quick. Third tip, click the right stick. If they run the blow, if you know it's a run, as soon as you go into the handoff animation, click the right stick. What that does is your safety and your corners will all come down and run support. So you'll go from having eight in the box to having 10 or 11 people crash down to the line to take away the run. Just be careful with doing it. You got to know when the run is coming because if you do click that right stick and he hits you with a pass, your safety going to come screaming down. And if you are in a cover three or anything like that, you have no middle protection and he will hit you over the top. So, yeah, that's just three easy tips to help you guys lock in on the run. Also, like, figure out where the gaps are. Like, when he's running the ball, you should be able to see where the holes and the gaps are where you can get in with your user and blow that run up. Uh, what's the best run offense? Junior 700 want to know? Oakland. Easy. 
Oakland has the best run plays and the best run offense in Madden. Trust me. For all you guys who want to get some lab work in with your boy, grab the membership. Uh, the membership grants you one lab session with your boy, two games. We Well, I think it's a game or something like that. We get it in, ask all the questions you want. So for you guys who want to do that, link for that is down in the description. Uh, a form, you try out the Raiders. Yeah, I got multiple Raiders vids up on the channel. I actually be the top 100 guy with the Raiders. So yeah, uh, that video is in my history too. I actually got down with him pretty decent. Again, I think he had the Eagles at the time. Uh, let me see. How uh, Chuck Money? Shout out to Chuck Money for all you guys. I know my boy Chuck Money got a YouTube page. Go check him out. How would you run your cover four so you don't get beat deep? Mainly cover four drop show too. I don't run cover four because with the matchup zone principles, it's very easy for those deep blues to turn in the man zones. I mean, man up, and they'll follow a receiver completely out their zone and abandon principle. I personally don't run cover four because of that. But what I would tell you guys is to play the sticks. And also, you might want to uh, change some of those zones. Maybe put like a deep third and then man up one of those um, high safeties on the guy that's running the deep post that's killing you. Because once you turn that uh, outside quarter into a deep third, it'll play 30% of the middle of the field. And then with that guy manned up, He'll take away that over-the-top help, so you'll basically have a double team when you're running those deep routes uh, across the field. Do a video, Elijah, do a video where your wife picks your team. My wife ain't going to do that. My wife hate video games. I'm going to talk to her, though. Maybe she'll do something, but my wife ain't no video game. We're actually going to get Nintendo Switch soon because we're going to be doing uh, some stuff uh, with the kids, the Mario Kart and all that. So, yeah. Uh, you spelled this wrong in the time. Vic, I hit you in the jaw, famo. My, look how big my hands is, man. They huge. So when your boy pressing buttons, sometimes I skip a button. I might hit a button twice. But famo, you gonna get the ashy knuckles, famo. You gonna catch that, Vic. You my man's, I rock with you. But you gonna catch the ashy knuckles if you put my vocab on blast. Uh, let me see. Red pe red peel popper. Oh, fam, oh, you is wild. Oh no, you talking about the Matrix? Never mind. I take it back, fam. Oh. Uh, how do you keep from getting beat deep? I play over the top and show blitz off, off and on. I don't press, and if I do press, I'm gonna put the guy that I'm pressing in a deep quarter, but that don't always work. Deep quarters help a little bit from getting beat over the top, but if you're going against a speedy wide out of Tyree Hill, when you press, you dead. So what I would tell you is know your cup, know uh, the receiver. If he got a 92 speed guy, it's cool. You might be able to press him. But if also if they're running condensed sets, I wouldn't press because once they get the motion in cats, motion heights really mess up press coverage. So that would be my advice to you, famo. Uh, anyone else? No, my head, my online head to head was straight. Uh, T shine besides them kicking me out. Um, in your New Orleans offense, why don't you run more formations? I can go deeper in New Orleans, famo. It's just that I just don't really have to. I can go five wide. Um, I got some trio weak stuff. Like I have other things. It's just I don't really have a need to. I don't have to open up my playbook because I can adjust within the formation to get everything that I need out of that formation. And I'm really big on that. I'm not the four, five, six formation guy. I'm two, three formations top. If you shut down my tight offset, you stand a really good chance to beat me. Uh, what is your biggest weakness as a player? I'm really arrogant about my defense. And y'all see that in this TD video. This is a time where I should have punted, but I'm so confident in my ability to get a stop that I go for it and put myself in bad situations often. Y'all see it in the YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? I Sometimes I do it just for uh, YouTube content. Other times it's because I'm extremely arrogant about my ability to get a stop on defense. Uh, and I got some messages on Instagram I'm going uh, to dig into. Chirac445. Ooh, shout out to all my boys in Shot Town. I ain't gonna say Chirac because I know a lot of my Chicago dudes don't really like the term Chirac. But uh yeah. He he wants to know 
what makes my defense so good because four three under isn't really that good of a formation. That's very true. It's not. But for me, uh, I win games based off IQ. I think my way through all Madden games. Like the play you ran on second down in the first quarter that you got a nice amount of uh, yardage in, I'm going to remember that play in, four, on, uh, in the fourth quarter with two minutes left and it's third down and I see and I recognize like some of the routes developing. So that's how I do it. I memorize everything about Madden and then that allows me to be able to uh, adjust really well in my 4-3 and be able to lock up whether it be my 4-4 four, four split, 4-3 four, or whatnot. That's how. Like my adjustments is what keeps me in games. I'm not the guy that sends seven, eight people at you or do none of that. I'm adjusting. I'm playing coverage D, and then my user is going to take away a lot of your reads. Speaking of user, my boy want to know, how uh, how am I so good with my uh, user? That's because I personally, I use her in layers. And what I mean by that is, say if you got a deep post, and then I shoot up to take away the post, right? Even though I'm usering up top here on the post, I'm now, now that I've already taken the post away, now I'm looking down. I'm looking down while I'm running with the post, trying to see if you got anything coming across the middle so I can bail out on that post. So I'm never looking at the route that I'm using to take away. I'm always one step ahead or two steps ahead. And then once I just say if you got like a slant, delay slant coming out, now I'm jumping down to take away the slant. As I'm jumping down to take away the slant, I'm looking either up or to the right to see if you got like an in route or anything coming across. So I'm always usering, but I'm always thinking one move ahead. I'm usering in layers. So I'm never looking at the route that I'm usering. It's just muscle memory with the sticks, knowing where I got to go. I'm always looking in the next spot to see where I can go. So that's why I get a lot of those user picks where I'm up here, and then just instantaneously I bail out somewhere else. So I'm not a safety user because I hate be getting beat deep because I'm hella aggressive with my user. So, yeah, uh, that's how me personally, that's how my user has gotten to the point it is. So uh, if you guys got any more questions, man related Drop them down uh, in the comment section. Make sure y'all kill a like button on this video. A uh, big shout out to my boy TD. He did end up getting down on your boy this time, which we weren't really tripping. We was bound to we was bound to drop one at some point. We played a lot of games, and uh, when you play somebody so much, I'm not somebody who gets in and out of formations like I told y'all before. I'm a rocker. Was got your boy there. So uh, he pretty much knew everything was coming and did a good job of playing great defense on your boy. My defense was stout. Uh, I think I missed out on a couple of opportunities to force some turnovers, but I couldn't be too mad at how we played. Uh, fire video for you guys dropping tomorrow. Uh, let me know down in the comment section what else y'all want to see. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy and showing your boy all the love that you do. And I get at y'all.